13, Mike Anzalone in the four, and Bill Sylvia in car number 88. So Kyle, your thoughts before we go to green flag action. Uh, I'm just uh, just looking for some good side-by-side -side action that mini stocks always give it to you. And, uh, you know, tonight shouldn't be any different. It looks like the top crew was pretty good in the, uh, the SK Light race. So I'm looking forward to these guys running the top and uh, seeing some tight battles. Run the top and hope the fun doesn't stop. That'll be the philosophy for our drivers today. As George Cadet Coster gives him the go-ahead, and it's Krasminski out of the barrel in a hurry. And Jay Christian race no time, challenging Silva for second. And he is able to take the spot away. Curry on the inside. He almost got into the back bumper of the 59 car. That was some hair-raising action, Kyle, right at the start. Yeah, they're, uh, they're bumping and grinding for spot already. Uh... I guess when you're running for a championship, you can't afford to be patient. And that was a game plan for Curry. He is in third. Ken Cassidy trying to get underneath Silva in the fight for fourth. And the mighty 11. Ken Cassidy trying to crank it up to get underneath the 31. And Canfield is right behind them. I know you had a lot of battles early in your career against Ken Cassidy. What type of competitor is he? Uh, Ken is... is uh... Is one of the best. Well, actually, I believe he probably is the best in, uh, in a mini stock. You know, he's had a tough couple seasons, but um, he'll get it back under control and, and find speed again. And uh, Ken's always been fun to watch and, and great guy to race against. And right now, Charles Canfield is perched on the back bumper of the Cassidy car. So Canfield is able to clear the 31 car. Doug Curry running third. Canfield fifth. And the man who is the leader, Andrew Krasminski, looking for his first ever win. He didn't have a podium until midseason. So he's been around for three years. And this has been his best year, being shadowed by the 59 and Jake Christian. And then Curry working in the top three. Here's Canfield trying to get underneath uh, the cannonball move against Cassidy. And Canfield, he looks a little rambunctious here. Yeah, he can't waste any time. He's, uh, you know, the front three are pulling away from him. He's got to make that move and uh, try to catch up to that front three to make a bid for the lead. I guess this year you can't count on a lot of caution flags on some races. So Canfield is able to jackknife his way underneath Cassidy. He is in the top three. And he has a ways to go before he catches up to the back bumper of the Doug Curry car. And here comes Christian with an inside move against Krasminski. Didn't have enough ammunition that time. Now, if you're Doug Curry, what do you do? Do you sit back and wait and see what happens to the two leaders? Or are you aggressive and uh, try to make a move here? I'm sitting back for a couple laps, let them, uh, you know, figure it out. But, uh, yeah, as he sees CJ pulling in on the rear bumper, he's going to have to get, uh, get a move on it within a couple laps. Yeah, I can think uh, Canfield is changing his strategy here because uh, there might be a sense of urgency now. Some great action a little deeper in the field as it is Karen getting underneath Tommy Silva. So Silva started on the outside of the front row, has lost some positions. Here comes Christian. Bid for the lead on the inside as he tries to rabble rouse his way to the front, getting by Krasminski, and we have a new leader on lap number 10, and it's Jake Christian, and now trying to use the same hole that Christian used is Doug Curry, and Doug Curry definitely in a hurry. And here comes Canfield. So Jay Christian, he was able to beat Doug Curry earlier in the season, and he has had a lot of uh, tribulation since then, a lot of uh, bad moments. But right now, Jay Christian looks pretty good. What do you like about him so far? Uh, Jake, is, he's, uh, he's getting fast, quick, and um, you know he's following the shoes of his brother. His brother was real good in mini stock, and obviously making uh, making a lot of a big name for himself in the late models and uh, in super late models now. So uh, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, he's had a pretty good guy to learn from. Yeah, he's uh, he's definitely definitely learning from uh, a real good driver, and that's uh, got some big shoes to fill too, though. Well, speaking of big shoes, the right foot of Canfield trying to get underneath Curry, and he makes a move. Canfield in second. I think there was a little contact in turn number four, but Canfield was able to get by, and now Curry has a fight to hold on for third because right behind him is Andrew Krasminski. So Canfield, it didn't take him long to go from fourth to second, an indication that he has a pretty fast car. Yep, and he's, uh, he's actually done it tonight all on the bottom, it looked like. And you know, he's been fast on the top all year. 
It's been fun to watch. And right now, is it going to be fun for Jake Christian to watch? As Christian trying to protect his lead, and how long do you think it'll take Canfield to reach the back bumper of the 59 car? As he still has enough time, nine laps to go, I think when you have nine laps, that isn't too big a lead for Canfield to overcome. No, it definitely isn't too big of a lead. He can definitely get there. Um, he's going to want to get there as quick as possible to, uh, to have a few laps to do something with him. If he waits too long, obviously he's not going to be not going to be able to make a move too quick. As the old cliche, you can catch somebody, but it's much tougher to pass him after you catch him. Absolutely, and you don't you don't want to rough him up. Uh, Jake's running a real good race, and you don't want to ruin someone's season like that. Okay, a slower car in front of him, no issues there. As the O of the 51 of Jared Roy goes to the inside. And it was clear sailing that time for Christian. Let's see what Canfield has done. One thing, he's pulled away from Curry. So he leads by the length of a jumbotron over Curry for second and third. But is he running out of time against Christian? Uh, it looks like Jake Christian is running the same line that he has run for the entire race. Yeah, he's, he's uh, definitely hitting his marks. He's, he's getting through the corners real well. Uh, He's doing what he needs to do. Uh, Canfield's catching him a little bit, but uh, it doesn't look like it's enough as of right now. Well, he is hugging that white line in turns three and four and in one and two. Is that the way to do it? Get close to the white line in the corners? I've been out of these mini socks for so long, I couldn't even tell you the line to run anymore. They're so different than what we were doing. So it's And the track tough. is a lot different than yeah. uh, when you were racing these yep. cars. Yeah, the track has changed quite a bit. So Canfield trying to move in. Less than four laps ago, Jake Christian won earlier this season, then had his headaches. Right now, he is looking smooth. Three laps separate him from victory lane. Curry in third. In fourth, Chris Minsky. In fifth, Cassidy. In sixth, Karen. In seventh is the 88 of Silva, I believe. So caution out there. And this will change things dramatically. It did in the SK Lights. A late caution gave Brett Gagne an opportunity to get by Burt Willett and get the win. So uh, one thing about Canfield, he uh, loves the outside, so he'll be restarting on the outside unless the leader, Jake Christian, forces him. Yeah, it's fun to watch guys he grew up racing with, uh, you know, all move on and have success. I wonder if that's where he learned how to restart because he is uh, – one of the best at that is a clutch green it is uh, displayed by George DeCoster. Three to go, a three lap tussle for the trophy. And Jake Christian was able to take the lead about on lap number 10 from Andrew Krasminski. And he has dominated ever since, but now he has to worry about the presence of Charles Canfield. We'll see how Christian approaches a restart. Remember, when they get into the restart box, he has to be the first driver to accelerate. And let's see what happens. He takes his time to get up to speed, and Canfield, he is a bullet on the outside. So Canfield, it's do or die time for the 25 car, welded together with Jake Christian as they giddy up their way into turn number four here comes canfield he cranks it up coming off the corner canfield has a lead by a half a car length will christian be able to get him back let's see they rampage their way off of turn number two canfield on the outside trouble canfield goes into the grass christian in disarray and then he gets clobbered so christian to add insult to injury he gets devastated in turn number three. Christian and Canfield get together, and they both are in trouble in turn number three as Canfield tried to make a move on the outside. Kyle, what did you see? And it's kind of hard to tell on the back stretch there, but uh, that's yeah. what I've been saying for years. As <laughs> as Canfield's reaction to that, uh, you know, I. He thinks so that 92 car, not, the, uh, not an artistic car. It won't be hanging up in an art gallery, but it looks pretty good on the track. And let's see where uh, Canfield is going to restart. 
this might not be too bad for uh, Charles Canfield restarting fifth. Yeah, he uh, he could you know pick off a couple of these and you know with a little slip up uh, he might have a bid for the win again. You know you know you never know what can happen here. So get ready for the three most exciting words in motorsports: green, white, checker. As we determine the outcome of our 25 lap mini sock feature, it all comes down to a restart. As Cody is, Cody is in trouble, if that restart counts, it could be a disaster for Doug Curry, Chris Minsky in front, and look who is on the outside breathing napalm. It is Canfield. He is going after Chris Minsky on the final lap. So it is becoming the outsider. Cassidy Ford inside move. Canfield trying to get back in front. Chris Minsky looking for his first ever speed ball run. The fireball here in the turn number three. Here comes Canfield trying to make an inside move. Chris Minsky holds him off. Andrew Chris Minsky has got his first ever speed ball run. In second is Canfield. Third Cassidy. Sean Karen fourth, JT I, Super. Uh, I think they got to, you know, they, they did it all themselves. And, uh, oh, yeah, you do a little burnout here. Yeah, and Andrew Krzminski, I don't think at the start of the season, if you said you would get a win on September 22nd, he would have said you were hallucinating. Instead, he is taking a lap that he will never forget. And Charles Canfield will move back into the point standings. And then in car number 11, is Ken Cassidy Jr. So that is our situation as Andrew Krzminski will be escorted into Victory Lane and a lot of people were there to congratulate him. A very popular guy in the paddock. So smiling Andrew is even smiling more and uh, you see uh, Charles Canfield coming out and so is Ken Cassidy as they are congratulating our winner. So we will send it to Wayland City Auto, Victory Wayland City Ford, Victory Lane, and Blaze Broder. Thank you, Matt Tuckler. As we wait for the norm, for Andrew to get unstrapped out of the 53 car here. What a win tonight. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. When he comes out of this car, let him know. Victory lap. Now some quick photos here in Victory Lane. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how about it? <laughs> A big giant congratulations, Andrew. I saw you earlier in the pits tonight, man. You were ready to go. Uh, tell us about it. Tell us how you feel, man. Uh, unbelievable. The car was on point in qualifying. We got our first heat win. Started on the pole. The car was good, but we dropped back. Uh, I was in the right place at the right time for that restart, man. And uh, the tires cooled down, and it was good. Here we are. And you held off uh, the charge in Can-Do Canfield, man. Amazing. I saw him coming. <laughs> Another lap or two, he might have had me. <laughs> well, you guys are pretty tight down here and in the pit, so congratulations to you, Andrew. Yeah, it's an awesome division. I can't thank these guys enough. I mean, best time of my life out here. That's good. That's good. Anybody you want to thank real quick? Yeah, my family, first and foremost. They're all right there. This is impossible without them. Um, I got Nap of Old Saybrook, Just Custom Graphics, Engines by Andy. Um, I don't know, man. This is awesome. Thank you. Okay, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew Krzminski. As we go talk with Charles Canfield here one quick time again. Well, you made it quick to the front, buddy. Yeah, um, I had to do something, man. Uh, it's it's that, that that was unfortunate. I don't know what happened. So, uh, well, we'll figure it out through video. So, uh, I hope I just hope Jake's all right. And uh, just a quick quick real shout out to uh, um, George Whitney. Uh, all the all the, all he did over the last year and a half. So, uh, and uh, Mike, uh, special thanks to Mike Saluka for stepping up and taking over this, man. I can't imagine how hard it's got to be uh, for a business perspective. But a uh, uh, special shout out to my uh, my wife. Uh, my kids, everybody that helps out, uh, GCR Power, Bazuto Brothers Refuge, Jim's Long Hair, 32 Signs, uh, Al Stone. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Congrats, Andrew, man. Congrats, buddy. Yeah! <laughs> Charles Canfield. Where's Cassidy? Where the heck is he? 
Congratulations, Great man. Job, Tell us about your third place win. You had a little charging going on there. Yeah, the car is terrible, so they end up third. I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, I don't know, something with the brakes, I think, is just a handful of drive, you know. But I uh, just kept it clean, and uh, here we are, third place. You know, I couldn't do it without all the guys in my car. Uh, my dad, my crew, uh, all my family that come out to Route to uh, Frank Lango Motorsports, Serve Pro and Norwich, Groton Oil, Taylor. Uh, engines by Andy, uh, Stonehouse Fire and Grill, Pete's Auto Sales, Anything Plumbing, A1 Auto. Uh, there's a lot of people on this car that make it go around. You know, I appreciate them all. All right, congratulations. We appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Ken Cassidy Jr. Guys, take it away. Oh, wait a minute. Do we got something here? Oh, okay. my number six. He and I get together each year and we give $100. All right, Nick Papagoda, we're down here uh, with a special presentation. Nick, tell us about it. Well, well, we try to Rusty's dad and I try to get at least once a year together, and in uh, honor of my car number, of course, <laughs> we we give uh, a little extra cash to the guy that finished in sixth place. So this is for our boy in the 31 car Yay! finished sixth place. An extra hundred, hundred bucks for him. All right, an extra hundred bucks uh, from Mr. Nick Papagoda and Butch here. Uh, congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Thank you to Nick, to Pitt Stewart, Butch, Rusty, everyone else, the fans for coming out. I've never been so happy to finish sixth. It looks like the beer, the beer line's going to pick up here pretty quick. All right, there you have it. Thank you, Nick. Thanks, Butch. Guys, back upstairs.